And it came to pass that while my father tarried in the wilderness, he spake unto us, saying, Behold, I have dreamed a dream, or in other words, I have seen a vision. And behold, because of the thing which I have seen, I have reason to rejoice in the Lord, because of Nephi and also of Sam. For I have reason to suppose that they and also many of their seed will be saved. But behold, Laman and Lemuel, I fear exceedingly because of you. For behold, methought I saw in my dream a dark and dreary wilderness. And it came to pass that I saw a man, and he was dressed in a white robe, and he came and stood before me. And it came to pass that he spake unto me, and bade me follow him. As I followed him, I beheld myself that I was in a dark and dreary waste. And after I had traveled for the space of many hours, I began to pray unto the Lord that he would have mercy on me, according to the multitude of his tender mercies. And it came to pass that I beheld a tree, whose fruit was desirable to make one happy. I did go forth and partake of the fruit thereof, and I beheld that it was most sweet, above all that I ever before tasted. Yea, and I beheld that the fruit thereof was white, to exceed all the whiteness that I had ever seen. And as I partook of the fruit, it filled my soul with exceedingly great joy. Wherefore, I began to be desirous that my family should partake of it also. And as I cast my eyes round about, I beheld a river of water, and it was near the tree of which I was partaking the fruit. And I looked to behold from whence it came, and I saw the head thereof a little way off, and at the head thereof I beheld your mother Sariah, and Sam, and Nephi. And it came to pass that they did come unto me, and partake of the fruit. I was desirous that Laman and Lemuel should come and partake of the fruit also, but they would not come unto me and partake of the fruit. I beheld a rod of iron, and it extended along the bank of the river, and led to the tree by which I stood. And I also beheld a straight and narrow path, which came along by the rod of iron, even to the tree by which I stood. And it also led by the head of the fountain, unto a large and spacious field. And I saw numberless concourses of people, many of whom were pressing forward, that they might obtain the path which led unto the tree by which I stood. And it came to pass that they did come forth, and commence in the path which led to the tree. And it came to pass that they who had commenced in the path did lose their way, that they wandered off and were lost. I beheld others pressing forward, and they came forth and caught hold of the end of the rod of iron. And they did press forward through the mist of darkness, clinging to the rod of iron, even until they did come forth and partake of the fruit of the tree. And after they had partaken of the fruit of the tree, they did cast their eyes about as if they were ashamed. And I also cast my eyes round about, and beheld, on the other side of the river of water, a great and spacious building, and it was filled with people. And they were in the attitude of mocking and pointing their fingers towards those who were partaking of the fruit. And after they had tasted of the fruit, they were ashamed, and they fell away into forbidden paths and were lost. And Laman and Lemuel partook not of the fruit, said my father. And it came to pass, after my father had spoken all the words of his dream or vision, he exceedingly feared for Laman and Lemuel. And he did exhort them then, with all the feeling of a tender parent, that they would hearken to his words. And after he had preached unto them, and also prophesied unto them of many things, he bade them to keep the commandments of the Lord, and he did cease speaking unto them. For it came to pass, after I had desired to know the things that my father had seen, and believing that the Lord was able to make them known unto me, as I sat pondering in mine heart, I was caught away in the Spirit of the Lord, yea, into an exceedingly high mountain, which I never had before seen, 
and upon which I never had before set my foot. And the Spirit said unto me, Believest thou that thy father saw the tree of which he hath spoken? And I said, Yea, thou knowest that I believe all the words of my father. And when I had spoken these words, the Spirit cried with a loud voice, saying, Hosanna to the Lord, the Most High God! And blessed art thou, Nephi, wherefore thou shalt behold the things which thou hast desired. And behold, this thing shall be given unto thee for a sign, that after thou hast beheld the tree which bore the fruit which thy father tasted, thou shalt also behold a man descending out of heaven, and him shall ye witness. Ye shall bear record that it is the Son of God. And it came to pass that the Spirit said unto me, Knowest thou the meaning of the tree which thy father saw? And I answered him, saying, Yea, it is the love of God, which sheddeth itself abroad in the hearts of the children of men. And he spake unto me, saying, Yea, and the most joyous to the soul. And it came to pass that I beheld that the rod of iron which my father had seen was the word of God, which led to the fountain of living waters, or to the tree of life, which waters are a representation of the love of God. And he said unto me, What beholdest thou? And I said unto him, A virgin, most beautiful and fair above all other virgins. And he said unto me, Behold, the virgin whom thou seest is the mother of the Son of God, after the manner of the flesh. The angel spake unto me, saying, Look. And I beheld the virgin again, bearing a child. And the angel said unto me, Behold the Lamb of God, yea, even the Son of the Eternal Father. And the angel said unto me again, Look and behold the condescension of God. And I beheld the Son of God going forth among the children of men, and I saw many fall down at his feet and worship him. He went forth ministering unto the people, and I beheld multitudes who were sick and who were afflicted with all manner of diseases and they were healed by the power of the Lamb of God. And I looked and beheld the Lamb of God, that he was taken by the people. Yea, the Son of the everlasting God was judged of the world. He was lifted up upon the cross and slain for the sins of the world. And after he was slain, I saw the multitudes of the earth that they were gathered together to fight against the apostles of the Lamb. And I beheld that they were in a large and spacious building, like unto the building which my father saw. And it came to pass that I saw and bear record that the great and spacious building was the pride of the world, and it fell, and the fall thereof was exceedingly great. And the angel of the Lord spake unto me again, saying, Thus shall be the destruction of all nations, kindreds, tongues, and people that shall fight against the twelve apostles of the Lamb.